praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Today I greet you in the mighty name, the exalted name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and soon coming King. The title of my message today is Let It Rain. I said the title of my message today is Let It Rain. Amen? My message, the text of my message is taken from 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 41 to 46. And my reference is taken from 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 1 to 60. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a song of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Hamid, and he cast himself down upon the earth, and put his face between his knees, and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked, and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass. In the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loin, and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Please turn with me to 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 1 to 16. And it came to pass, after many days, that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon thee. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly, for it was so. When Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord at Obadiah, took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go into the, the land unto all fountains of water and unto all brooks. Per adventure we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided the land between them to pass throughout it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him, and he knew him, and fell on his face and said, are thou that my Lord Elijah? And he answered him, I am. Go tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And he said, What have I sinned? That thou wouldest deliver thy servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me. As the Lord thy God liveth, there is no nation or kingdom whether my Lord has not sent to seek thee. And when they said he is not there, 
he took an oath of the kingdom and nation that he found in it. And now thou sayest, go tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And it shall come to pass as soon as I am gone from thee that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry thee whether I knew not. And so when I come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find thee, he shall slay me. But I thy servant fear the Lord from my youth. Was it not told, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord, how I hid a hundred men of the Lord's prophet by fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. And now thou sayest, Go tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah is here, and he shall slay. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. And so Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Glory be to your name and magnify your name today. I pray that you will speak by your Holy Ghost. I pray that you will move by your Holy Ghost today. And I pray that those who are experiencing recession today, that the Spirit of the Lord will move in every situation and the Spirit of abundance will come forth today in the lives and the livelihood of every nation globally, every household today, and that you will give those under my, the sound of my voice the victory a voice of prosperity today. I declare and I decree today in order name that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I ask all his mercies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 41. Are you experiencing recession? God is about to turn things around. The prophet of God began to prophesy to the king of Israel. Enough is enough. I prayed and God spoke to me that if I present myself to you, he will heal the land. If I began to prophesy, change will come because all power is given unto me. My tongue has power to change any and every situation and circumstance. Today I will ask you what it is that's going on in your life. Hallelujah. That you need a breakthrough. Today I want to say to you, you can get up and eat and drink and celebrate. Why celebrate? Because there is a change in the atmosphere. There is a sound of the abundance of rain. Because of the rain, your surplus is coming. And your place of defeat is no longer available. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Why not? Hallelujah. Because the, the God of Israel, the man, the prophet of the hour, Elijah had prophesied, hallelujah, to the king of Israel, Ahab. He said to him in verse 41, Elijah said unto Ahab, get me up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of the abundance of rain. Can you hear the sound today? Are you in recession? Well, I am telling you prophetically today that there is a sound of the abundance of rain. Your rain is about to come. Verse 42 is an expression of obedience and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 said that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty to God 
through the pulling down of stronghold. Hallelujah. The spirit of lack is it in your midst when well, it's a stronghold and you need to pull it down. You need to cast down every imagination. Hallelujah. And bring into captivity the spirit of poverty or recession. Hallelujah. Are you amazed? Hallelujah. God is awesome. Change is coming to you and your household. Change is going to come to your neighborhood. Wherever you are and whoever you are. Today I want to tell you that God is awesome. He will make you amazed. Why? Because change is coming to you and your household. Change is coming to your tongue. Your household today. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Verse 43. Hallelujah. God, go and look toward the sea. Faith is action. We have a responsibility to respond responsibly to faith. Hallelujah. We must not respond to negativity, to doubt, and to fear. But we must respond to faith. Verse 43 said, and said to his servant, go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said to go seven times. The number seven is a number that will bring change to you and your household. Why? Because it's the number of completion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the number seven means that your warfare is accomplished. It means that your warfare is over. It is finished. Your place of impossibilities and your defeat, your shame, your reproach, your poverty, your broken marriage, and whatever have, have you living beneath your rights and beneath your privileges is over. Why? Because there is a sound of the abundance of rain. But you must believe. The spirit of abundance is in the atmosphere. You can allow it to come into your atmosphere too. Hallelujah. The Bible said go again seven times. And your victory will pro prevail. Your victory will prevail. Proceed. You need to go again seven times. You need to worship God seven times. You need to challenge God seven times. Your victory is in the number seven. Verse 44. Prepare your chariots and get down. Don't allow the rain to stop you. Let it rain. I said, prepare your chariots and get down from Mount Carmel. Don't allow the rain to stop you. Let it rain. Sometimes we need to know when to go up to Mount Carmel to, to pray. And we need to know when to come down from Mount Carmel because it is about to rain. Because of the abundance of rain. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Don't let the rain, hallelujah, supersede us. And verse 45 is a, a confirmation that there was a great rain. Verse 45, and it came to pass. In the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds. Is your heaven black with clouds today? Does it seem to you that it's about beginning to rain? The Bible said, and wind, and there was a great rain, and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. Verse 46, when the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, don't allow your Ahabs to run ahead of you. Run the race with patience, but let it rain. I said, but let it rain. In my conclusion, I would like to pray a prayer for your victory. I pray for your peace if you have no peace. I pray for your victory if you have no victory. 
I pray for your joy if you have no joy. And I pray for change if you desire change. I pray for deliverance from the spirit of poverty today. Hallelujah, Father, I come to you one more time. In no other name than in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I'm praying, I pray for victory. I pray for peace. I pray for joy. I pray for change. And I pray for deliverance from the spirit of poverty. And everything that's affected by the spirit of poverty. Uh, the spirit of depression, the spirit of mental health, the spirit of sickness and disease, every scar that goes with poverty. I pray that you bless your people, every home, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl under the sound of my voice today. I pray a prayer of prosperity. And in my conclusion, I would like to say, let it rain. God bless you in Jesus.